not a crook. Welcome to Law Bite. The following is for entertainment purposes only. I'll never tell a lie. It is not legal advice, not even close. And now for the very finest in idiotic legal news and commentary. This is Law Bite. Apparently, there's some hot news out there about TJ Holmes and Amy Robach, two ABC News co-anchors who have been publicly shacking up together. Now, the problem is both of them are married and not to each other. So it's a big scandal for Disney, who owns ABC News, and now there may be talk of firing the two for their immoral behavior. Now, at this point, you might be saying, OMG, can I be fired for cheating on my husband or wife? Well... Chances are you have one of those at-will employment jobs, which means you could be fired for wearing an ugly shirt or smelling like donuts or pretty much anything. Now, speaking of which, reminds me of the first time that I got fired. My shift supervisor, he had this German accent. And one day I called up work and I said, hey, man, do I work tonight? And he said, I think you have been terminated. At that point, all I could do is laugh and say, Awesome. But back to TJ Holmes and Amy Robach. Now, they are different than the rest of us. They have what's called for-cause employment contracts. Now, this means that Disney has to come up with a good reason to fire them, like they killed somebody or they set the building on fire or adultery. Now, according to FineLaw.com, these morality clauses are pretty common in entertainment contracts. They basically say you have to be good both on and off the set. Don't do anything to make Disney look bad. So, is cheating on your husband or wife something that can legally get TJ and Amy fired? I don't know. If I was their lawyer, my defense would probably be, you know, celebrities are really just loose people who are constantly sleeping with whoever. So TJ and Amy, what they did here, it's not immoral, it's just normal. But the truth is, this is one of those situations where the client would be sitting in front of my desk in my office, and I'd say to them privately, you know what, you're a terrible person. But ever since Disney came up with Beverly Hills Chihuahua 2, I've just been pissed off. So let's do this. Until next time, this is Law Bite. See you then.